Today, we're going to be testing out the CNC mill we built in the last video by carving, engraving, and cutting some wood. First, let's try making some wood gears. Unfortunately, for some reason, the bit stopped in the middle of the job and drove straight down through my spoil board. I don't know why this happened, but it hasn't happened since. Let's try again. Since the holes are deep and a lot of sawdust is produced, it has to be sucked out of the holes using a vacuum. This was a success. After a little sanding and cleanup, they mesh smoothly. Next, we can try engraving wood with some designs. Let's try a smiling face. We use the 1 8 inch bit to clear out large amounts of the material in the smile, and then the 1 32nd bit to get all the smaller details. I want to try making a coaster hot plate type thing with fine detail engraving. First, we use the 1 32nd bit to carve out the tree design in a piece of wood. Then, we use the 1 inch bit to cut out the circle shape. If we were to cut out the large circle shape before engraving, the circle would not be held down to the build plate, and the engraving would fail. I tried another engraving, this time of a hedgehog, and it turned out perfect. After breaking both of my 1 32nd bits, I realized that I should have been using V-bits for the fine engraving instead. I think a large contributor to both of the bits breaking was that my feed rate, the speed at which the bit moves across the wood, was too high. I am yet to try milling or engraving aluminum. I think I should upgrade my spindle motor before I try cutting metals. The spindle motor upgrade is coming soon in my next video, so make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss it. Thank you.